Uh, let us see in this uh, food series uh, the top 10 ways to save money on food. Number 10. Make a list. When you are shopping for food, it is more, more important you make a list. This will help avoid buying things you need not need. The highest cost of shopping is almost always the unexpected extras you don't really need. Making a list also helps you to realize uh, just how much food you are buying. You would be surprised how much uh, dead wood you can cut out. This is particularly effective when used in conjunction with number 6 and 8. Number 9. Stop using recipes. So cooking uh, from recipes is uh, great if you are uh, not the most confident cook. If, but if you force yourself to experiment with food, you can use up all the bits and pieces left over in the refrigerator and cupboards that might otherwise uh, just sit there and spoil. If you try to empty your cupboards between shopping, you will save a fortune. In some cases, you will find you can skip a whole week of shopping. When you are uh, trying to save money, you have to give up the idea of luxury meals every day. Number 8. Shop online. When Every item is placed in such a way that it will uh, entice you. The supermarkets have become incredibly good at this. It, as is a, uh, evidenced by my half price shopping bill when I don't go to the store. You usually save so much money at the mall. Uh, at the small delivery fee charged by some online shopping stores is worth paying. Make sure to follow tip number 10 and you buy only what is what it is on your list, nothing more. Number 7. Keep leftovers. Supermarkets have a tendency to package items in odd numbers such as a pack of 3 streaks when you only want to. This can work to your advantage. Buy the three pack, cook it all, and save one piece for lunch the next day. This is a true of all leftovers. They can either be reheated and eaten the next day, or frozen for later use, or recycled in another meal. So number 6. Make a core menu. It is a good idea to make a core menu for the week. A menu that does not change from week to week. This may include things like sausages and uh, mashed potatoes, fried chicken, Caesar salad and so on. By adding 5 regular meals, uh, you can control the cost of uh, in your shopping. And as time goes on, you can learn ways to make shortcuts and save more money. Next, number 5. Buy in bulk. Buying in bulk is almost always cheaper than buying small portions. It is important to remember. However, this is not an effective shopping tool if you are buying bulk items that you don't normally use. Bulk shopping should be reserved to the items you use regularly and in large quantities. For example, if you bake your own bread, you should buy the largest sack of flour you can. Uh, next thing is number 4. Buy store brands. Not only are store brands go good, al almost always cheaper, often they contain the very same food as a label brand. This is true not just of food but also clothing. It is definitely not worth paying twice the price just for a fancy label when the quality of the goods is identical. Number 3. Cook from scratch. Cooking from scratch is one of the best ways to save money in shopping. Pre-packaged and pre-cooked meals are expensive. 
every step in the process of turning raw food into prepared food adds more to the price this is true uh, of cuts of meal meat at well chicken with the skin and bones intact costs costs a lot less than skinned and boned chicken breasts number 2 use coupons coupons are an excellent way to save money some shops use loss leaders when they sell goods at cost or less than cost the aim of loss leaders uh, is to draw cust- customers into the stone take advantage of this and shop at a few different places buying only coupon items you will be amazed how much money you can save the last one number 1 buy local produce buying local produce will always be cheaper than transported goods because you are not paying transportation costs and it is those costs that are growing the most rapidly at present furthermore you can get to build up a good relationship with members of your local community and get the freshest fruit and vegetables this also means you are eating a seasonal produce and not something frozen for a year before it hits the shops why pay twice uh, the price for last year's apples when you can get apples that have just come off the tree so these are the top 10 ways to uh, top 10 uh, best ways to save money on food